लो एंड वेलकम गाइस मैं हूं तस्खीर और इस वीडियो के अंदर मैं रिएक्ट कर रहा हूं आप में से किसी ने मुझे शेयर किया था ये वीडियो और जिसका टाइटल है इमरान खान एक्सक्लूसिव इंटरव्यू विद बैकी एंडरसन ऑन सीएनएन ये ट्वेंटी थर्ड मार्च को हुआ था आई थिंक तो इसके ऊपर रिएक्ट करने वाला हूँ किस टाइप का इंटरव्यू है इमरान खान ने क्या कहा है क्या बातें सामने रखी हैं या फिर क्या कुछ उनसे सवाल पूछे गए हैं वो देखेंगे इसके अंदर बिना देरी ये स्टार्ट करते हैं लस्ता दी वीडियो नाउ in an official meeting there are no takers on both sides he tells the ambassador that unless you get rid of your prime minister imran khan in a vote of no confidence which by the way hadn't been tabled as yet but he seemed to know about it he said unless you get rid of him pakistan will suffer consequences and then ah, goes on to say, of course yes, if you get rid of him through the vote of no confidence all will be forgiven such arrogance apart from anything else by the way becky this guy should be sacked for bad manners and sheer arrogance imagine telling a country of ambassador of a country of 220 million people that you get get rid of your prime minister mm. so this is where it started the next day next day this vote of no confidence is right. tabled in our uh, parliament if, and if then Khan, followed... why have you never made this public before you are being very specific about what you Public allege was said public mein kyun nahi dikhaya letter well becky i put it in front of our cabinet the the uh, the cipher was read out in the cabinet the minutes of the cabinet then i presented it in our national security uh, council where all the service chiefs were present why did i present them because this was a blatant intervention in the internal affairs of pakistan a regime change as prime minister at the council. time did you get in touch with the us president with the us secretary of state what happened we the national security council decided to give a dimash protested to the us in pakistan and in the uh, 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 in the in washington we issued it this this is all minuted then we presented it to the parliament uh, committee then the speaker of parliament then the president of pakistan who has this cipher he sent it to the chief justice of pakistan that there should be an inquiry held in this blatant interference in the uh, internal affairs of pakistan pakistan's new foreign minister says the united states and his country are entering a new engagement after what has been years Uh, of strained relations and you and I have spending. talked about those strained relations under your premiership do you believe for the uh, sake of you. pakistan that it is mm. better to have a good relationship with the united states becky i had perfectly good relationship with the trump administration it's only when the biden administration came and tram ke time mein it coincided with what what was happening in afghanistan and for some reason which i still don't know i never they never got in touch with me there was no uh, us ambassador to pakistan Talib i have no idea liye. but look my point is very simple i 220 million people of pakistan elected me my first responsibility is to the people of pakistan my responsibility is for the well being we have 50 million people living below the poverty line so when russia offers us 30% discount on oil and uh, 30% discount on wheat imports india does the same india imports india is part of the quad part of the uh, strategic alliance with the us india imports oil from the us but for some reason uh, this was taken against me as if i was being anti us or anti american the us let me repeat has rubbished the notion that they have been involved in regime change in pakistan you continue to assert uh, what they suggest is a conspiracy theory here um do you genuinely believe that the us has been behind a regime change in pakistan before this, happened, before this uh, meeting with donald lu and our ambassador 
the US embassy was calling members of, of my party who were, who, who were some of the backbenchers who were not happy. They were having meetings with the US embassy. I mean, what were they meeting them? And they were the first ones who then jumped ship. And they were the ones who then offered a million dollars each to buy my other members of parliament who actually jumped ship later on. Why would the US embassy be interested in, in, in backbenchers of our party? So is the current government an American implant? It, it's with their blessings. And you know, the painful thing, Becky, is not just that everyone, we all call it imported government, but the worst thing is, there are a bunch of criminals. For 30 years, these guys have been plundering the country. 60% of the cabinet is on bail. You were in Russia meeting President Putin the day he announced the war in Ukraine. The optics didn't and don't look good, do they? Uh, they didn't, uh, Becky, but let me explain to you, this visit was planned a long time back mm -hmm. and all the stakeholders in Pakistan were on board. The military wanted hardware from the Russians. We wanted oil. There was a gas pipeline which was, which was being negotiated for the past six years before my government came in. So this trip was planned a long time before. How would I know that the day I land in Moscow, uh, uh, President Putin wants, uh, decides to go into U Ukraine? Do I was do you supposed regret, to know that. Do you regret that trip? Now. I would regret if all this, if we had known about the invasion and then I had gone in, I guess I would have regretted it because I do not believe in military solutions. I have opposed all, all military ways of achieving uh, mm -hmm. uh, political ends. So, but I wasn't supposed to know. Imran Khan, will you run again? Will you run again as prime minister in the next elections? Uh, uh, wh whenever the next elections take place, uh, not only will we run, but I can predict right now that this will become the, the biggest party in Pakistan's history because people are so incensed and, and feel insulted that these criminals have been ho foisted upon us mm -hmm. who have been plundering this country for 30 years. There is anger in Pakistan. The, and unfortunately, because of all this coming, uh, be becoming public, the cipher, Donald Rule's comments, who should be sacked for bad manners, uh, there's anti-Americanism. Uh, because you know that in so many regime changes, where the US, like in Iran, Prime Minister Mossadegh, like in uh, South American countries, when, you, when unpopular governments are foisted on a people, the resentment then goes mm. to to, against the US. And yeah. unfortunately, yes, there is anti-Americanism right now. Well, that's Imran Khan in his uh, first interview with uh, international media since his ousting. We have reached out to the US State Department today following my interview. They again deny the allegations by saying there is absolutely no truth to them. And on April the 4th, the State Department said, and I quote, we support the peaceful upholding of constitutional democratic principles. That is the case in Pakistan. It is the case around the world. We do not support one political party over another. We support the broader principles, the principles of rule of law, of equal justice under the law. And we also reached out to Pakistan's current government, but we have not heard back yet. But on April the 27th, Pakistan's information minister said, and I quote him here, people of Pakistan are questioning Imran over his false corruption narrative. They are asking him why did he not prove any corruption with all his abuse of powers for four years. And apologies for the technical glitch there as we were wanting to bring that um, up, that statement for you on the screen. Voi wale sawal the. जो दुनिया में ढूँ पाकिस्तान में मतलब इस टाइम घूम रहे हैं पाकिस्तान के इर्द गिर्द घूम रहे हैं इमरान खान की गवर्नमेंट के इर्द गिर्द घूम रहे हैं गवर्नमेंट तो फ़िलहाल नहीं है लेकिन लास्ट में उन्होंने पूछा था क्या आपकी गवर्नमेंट बन सकती है आ, इसमें इलेक्शन हुए तो इमरान खान ने कहा अगर बनी तो सबसे बड़ी सबसे मेजोरिटी के साथ बनेगी आ, आज तक की हिस्ट्री में पाकिस्तान में जो गवर्नमेंट इनकी पार्टी है जो आएगी वो सबसे ज़्यादा मेजॉरिटी के साथ आएगी और सबसे तगड़े इलेक्शन मतलब पब्लिक जो होगी उस, उसने वो इसलिए वोट करेगी कि 
क्रिमिनल्स बैठ गए हैं वो इंसल्ट फील कर रही है पब्लिक इसलिए तो इसमें बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस थे आ, यही रिलेटेड कि आपने लेटर क्यों नहीं दिखाया तो उन्होंने जवाब दिया कि मैंने जहाँ जहाँ दिखाना चाहिए था वहाँ दिखाया ये सवाल था दूसरा आ, इसमें यह पूछ रहे थे कि यू तो जो है वो आ, रिजेक्ट कर रहा है इस पॉइंट को कि आपने जो इल्ज़ाम लगाए हैं कि ऐसे रिजीम चेंज का उनका ऑपरेशन है पीछे से सब कुछ करा रहे हैं तो वो बोल रहे थे कि आपने रिलेशन ख़राब कर लिए मतलब ऐसा बोल रही थी कि आपने रिलेशन आपको नहीं लगता आपने रिलेशन ख़राब कर लिए हैं तो वो बोल रहे थे रिलेशन तो ये जो नई गवर्नमेंट आई है यू की कि आने के बाद हुए हैं उससे पहले अच्छे रिलेशन थे इमरान खान ने सारी बातों के क्लियरली जवाब दिए हैं और पब्लिक क्या चाहती है पब्लिक की क्या डिमांड है उनके लिए और पब्लिक क्या इंसल्ट फील कर रही है क्या कर रही है इस टाइम कैसा फील कर रही है उसके ऊपर वोटिंग होगी ये उन्होंने क्लियर जवाब दिया है तो सही इंटरव्यू था क्लियर जवाब दिए हैं इन्होंने साफ साफ से क्वेश्चंस के तो बढ़िया इंटरव्यू था और क्लियर कर दिया इन्होंने बाहर के लोगों को भी मतलब बाहर की आ, जो एंकर हैं ये इनको भी क्लियर कर दिया इनके ज़रिए वहाँ की कंट्री में भी देखा जाएगा ये तो सारी दूसरी कंट्रीज़ को भी मतलब इस इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज में भी क्लियर कर दिया कर दिया इन्होंने कि जो गवर्नमेंट आएगी वो इनकी आएगी तो ऐसे आएगी और इस तरह से आएगी और यही रुझान दिख भी रहा है पब्लिक में कि आप कमेंट सेक्शन में बताइए इस वीडियो के बारे में आपको क्या लगता है फिलहाल के लिए इस वीडियो में इतना ही मिलते हैं फिर नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर बेलाइकन प्रेस कर लेना बाय बाय टेक केयर साइनिंग ऑफ